Hello everyone, my name is Rampage and I'm back with yet another wonderful Diablo 4 XP farm. So if you find this video helpful or entertaining, don't forget to subscribe. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Unlike other XP farm dungeons like Champion's Demise, Morgan's Works, and the Ruins of Eridu, this farm does not abuse the Sile enemy's objective. That is great news for the future, because that means Blizzard will likely not patch it and nerf the XP rates. Another great thing about this farm is it is easily accessible early in the game. It is inside the Fractured Peaks region. I'm talking about the Hoarfrost Demise Dungeon, just a bit north from the Bear Tribe Refuge in the Seat of the Heavens area. Now before we get started, I just wanted to explain a few quick ways to most effectively reset the dungeon. If you are solo and do not like to exit the dungeon, log out, log back in, and re-enter the dungeon method to reset, then I would suggest a Nightmare Dungeon Reset. This is simply where you start any nightmare dungeon, enter it, and wait 5 seconds, and then you can travel to wherever you want to farm. In our case, the Hoarfrost Demise Dungeon. Once your XP farm run is complete, all you need to do to reset the dungeon is Town Portal out and take your Town Portal back in. There should be no need to waste time logging out. This is because our active nightmare dungeon is our only dungeon progress being saved, making for quick and easy resets. This only works solo, and only if you spend at least 5 seconds in the Nightmare Dungeon, so just keep that in mind. For resetting a multiplayer, have everyone exit the dungeon, then have the host leave the party, then everyone rejoins the host to reset. So the route for this XP farm is pretty straightforward since Hoarfrost Demise is quite linear, and we only need to complete the first section. Starting off inside the entrance, you progress a short way along the path until it branches, both branches lead forward, but taking the most straightforward path is usually faster. After a short climb down a cliff, you'll reach a cave opening blocked by a green barrier. To drop the barrier, we need to complete the Destroy the Skeletal Constructs objective. There are three of them ahead, all guarded by lots of enemies, including elites. Depending on what kind of layout of the area you get, there will either be one long looping path or two connected loops. Either way, you shouldn't have to worry about backtracking, since there are no long dead ends. After destroying each skeletal construct, the skeleton elites will also spawn along with a pack of skeletons. Once all of these constructs are destroyed and the path is cleared, you are done with the XP farm route and can reset to go again as much as you like. Also, the Hoarfrost Demise objective will change to enter the Flesh Cavern. If this is your first time entering Hoarfrost Demise, I would recommend slaying the Khazor Abomination boss there to add the blood bathed aspect to your Codex of Power. A useful effect when leveling Necromancer, otherwise just skip the boss and reset, it's not worth the time. This XP farm can quickly be done solo in just 2 or 3 minutes on any class and gives about 520,000 XP per run on World Tier 4 Torment. The linear pass really helps speed things up. Also, I don't know what it is, but when I run Horfrost and Mines, they keep getting an event each time. If that happens to you, consider it a bonus. With quick resets, you should get anywhere from 10 million to 15 million XP per hour. Potentially even more if you're very fast. To squeeze extra XP from this farm, I recommend popping an elixir. An elixir of undead slaying or demon slaying are good options since this dungeon is full of skeletons and goatmen. Otherwise, any elixir that helps you clear Horfrost Demise faster is a good option since all elixirs give a 5% XP boost. You can craft elixirs at any alchemist. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, don't forget to subscribe. And if you would like to support the channel further, consider supporting on Patreon. See you in the next one.